remember a time, a time long ago, when everything was gold and sparkly. A time where the harsh realities of life would end and the fun began with a flick of a switch. A time where no matter what happened in your day, you'd forget it all and just sit in perfect bliss and harmony. Well, until your dad got mad and cut the plug off your computers. Those times are sadly gone and unfortunately I can't get them back. For a few reasons really. Firstly, I got older. Secondly, I had to get a job because I can't actually eat the potatoes I grow in Minecraft. I needed to buy real ones. However, even though I have these first world problems, I do still get the opportunity to escape when I sit down for an evening and flick on my computers and game consoles. As you've probably figured out from that little intro, I'm old enough to remember far more than what's been released on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. In fact, my first gaming console was a Sega Master System. And before that, I played on an early PC that was called an Amiga 500. Now, if you don't know what they are, I'll put some links in the description so you can actually take a look at them. These machines were how people of my level started with gaming and what hooked us in. You'll notice just there that I said level and not age, because this is how I deal with it now. There's a new way of referring to my age. I no longer age in years, I go up in levels. And one day, I hope I'll be good enough to reach level 100. You may now be thinking, what is this idiot talking about? And possibly considering calling a doctor. I often wonder the same thing. However, when you reach a level high enough, you'll understand that sometimes you just want to talk. Even if there's nothing specific you actually want to talk about. Gaming though, I think the very first first person shooter I played was Doom. There were games before Doom that did first person shooting, but that was the first one I played. And I remember being very young at the time, um, and walking through a particular level to find the head of dead humans on sticks. Now, that's an image that I vividly remember, even now. And that was many, many levels ago that I played that. A mere noob at the time just shows how some of these gaming experiences hold a part of your memory and that amazement of what you were seeing and how it can stay with you for many levels. There are many memories I have. Why I ended up picking that ridiculously violent one, I have no idea. Now, before anyone goes into the whole games make you want to kill people, I would argue that I've never killed anybody and Jack the Ripper was working the whole violence thing quite well on his own and he did all of that way before Sega made Sonic the Hedgehog. What's amazing is how far games have progressed in terms of graphics, scale and customization. Are these games better though? When you have ranked up like I have, do the games coming out now give you as much entertainment as they did back then? And if they were better, if you are going to say yes they were better back then, are you just looking back through rose tinted glasses? painting out all these previous pictures in delightfully pink tones where all looks pretty and smells so tasty? It's an entirely open question. I'm not actually going to answer it for myself. I think it's something for anyone who's levelled up as highly as me can uh, have a think about. If you've managed to stick with this video to this point, and firstly, well done, because I've almost quit twice, uh, but there's something I'm getting to, and it's about what's coming in the future and what I've missed from recent titles. The thing I've missed is story and attachment to characters. I think the last two games I've played that have blown me away from a story point of view and literally had me thinking about what's going to happen next while I've been sat at work or laying in bed were The Last of Us and the Mass Effect trilogy. Now don't get me wrong, I know there's many games out there and there will be many games I haven't played and I'm not going further back in time than those games. Um, but there was a time, historically, when you bought a game and you could not stop playing until you'd finished it because that story would bite into you and no matter how linear it was, no matter how clunky it paid, that story grabbed you and it wouldn't let go. I've played some single player games recently and I've finished them but I've never got that sense of being totally and haplessly sucked into it apart from The Last of Us and the Mass Effect trilogy of course. So firstly if anyone has had an experience like that with a single player game lately, and I'm talking in the last couple of years, 
by all means, let me know, because I'm sure there's bound to be games that I've missed out there. Uh, and I'm, I'm missing that game at the moment, that, that really story-driven, great game. I guess I feel a bit like a sex addict in Amsterdam without a wallet. I'm hoping that more games will come out soon with epic stories. I know that games like Batman Arkham Knight and The Witcher 3 are coming very soon, but they are both open world games. And I sometimes find that open world games break the story immersion because you can just escape it. You can escape the story and get out of it and you can go and do something else instead. And to be honest, if the Dark Lord of Hell was coming and I was the only one that could stop him, would I really spend two hours picking poppies for Dolly the Medic in Fake Town so that she can drug up all the people that got hurt? Fetch him yourself, you idle sod. I've got a world to save. So I'll end this as a, as a plea to game devs and game companies to bring us a story that I can't put down, that makes me think of it even when my console or computer is turned off. Realistically, I'm well aware that nobody of any importance will probably watch this video and it won't make any difference even if they did, but hey, you never know. Also, I'm not going to go into my current level because then I'd just be showing off. <laughs> That's all for now. Have a good day.